we now recognize Senator Hart. Well, first of all, thank you very much uh, for inviting me and allowing me to talk today. Um, I, I would like to start by saying, you know, I'm Senator, State Senator Ken Hart from District 21, which is Northwest Lincoln and part of Lancaster County. And uh, I do have a letter from Senator Stinner, which I left on your desk. And he asked if I would be allowed to read that into the record and then give my testimony. Is that for you or Okay, so I'm going to start with his letter. And of course, Senator Stinner is from District 48, which is Scott's Park. Dear Commissioners, thank you for this opportunity to comment. This letter is to convey my position that the Commission should not take action on this application until all of the relevant factors are then taken under consideration. This well is located in an environmentally sensitive area in Nebraska. As a Commission, you have not been presented with a case that involved the great volume of produced water proposed to be injected into the subterranean in Nebraska, as will be done by this proposal. It's incumbent upon the Commission to perform due diligence that this application will not have a long-term adverse impact on the precious water supply in western Nebraska. This involves the safety of both underground water and surface water supplies now and in the future. I'm very concerned that the Commission has no means to fund the monitoring that will be required for the future to assure the safety of the groundwater. Moreover, how would any repair of future environmental damage be accomplished and any cleanup funded? The second major concern raised by this application is the truck traffic and damage to Nebraska's <coughs> roadways and public safety issues raised by the proposed route through several cities in Nebraska, and these would be in the Senator Stinner's district. It's estimated by the Nebraska Department of Roads it will require some six and a half million dollars to address the roads problem. The Commission should have clear authority to address these concerns as it, as it addresses this application. Considering these issues, I will introduce a study resolution in the Nebraska Legislature to consider the adequacy of the Oil and Gas Commission statutory authority in the area of the disposal of wastewater. The Natural Resource Committee and its staff will be given the authority to study, investigate, and make recommendations concerning the Oil and Gas Commission's authority and role in these critical decisions. I look forward to working with the Commission, the Commission staff, and other parties. The product of this study will, if found necessary, be recommended for new statutory authority to regulate produced water disposal wells. This study will address what should be done to protect the environment, our surface, and underground water supply and public safety. Sincerely, uh, John Stinner, John P. Stinner, State Senator, District 40. And I have copies for the press should they want those. Um, so, my own testimony. Thank you. Uh, please. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, when I took the oath of office, I swore to represent, of course, Legislative District 21, but also the interest of all the state of Nebraska. And uh, just to be honest with you, when the Star Herald and actually the Lincoln Journal Star reported that only people within a half mile of the injection well uh, with property interests would be allowed to testify, uh, it created some real concern across the legislature. And so I figured I'd come here today. I am pleased that, that uh, the public is being allowed to, to give testimony. Um, so here are my concerns, I guess. When we look at, at what's going on here, and uh, much of the water, wastewater will be coming in, the produced water will be coming in from Colorado, uh, we've taken a look at Colorado's standards. And I would ask, and I agree with Senator Stinner, we need to study this, and at least that we should match Colorado's standards. Uh, for example, financial assurance commit, uh, requirements. Uh, Colorado has much more extensive uh, financial assurance requirements, including a requirement of $1 million in liability insurance that will cover things like spills and roads. Uh, public interest inputs. Colorado has extensive provisions for input from the public, including input from local governing bodies. Uh, the Commission has a single line in their rules about public input. And I'm not so much here to 
this is not a criticism, it's just saying I think we need to go further. Uh, standards for safety. Colorado has much more extensive rules on this subject. Standards for predict wildlife. Uh, Colorado has extensive rules in the area. In comparison, the commission has none. Again, not a criticism, but that we need to go and study this. Then there are four other areas where I think we need to uh, be absolutely to have the gold standard to protect the interests of Nebraskans. Uh, water is life. The first is to protect uh, provisions to protect the water. We have some of the best and most abundant water resources in the U.S. It's the lifeblood of our ag economy, and we have to make sure, absolutely sure, that our water is going to be protected. Two, we need to know the contents of the subjects, of the substances being injected into the earth. And it's up to the states. California already has a full disclosure requirement. And if these substances that are injected are harmless, there should be no problem in disclosing. If they're toxic, we need to know so we can deal with any leak or spill. Uh, third, provisions to take care of the needs of communities, including paying for damage to roads and providing alternate routes away from schools and other facilities. And of course, uh, as you know, Sioux and Scottsbluff counties have already presented letters uh, opposing this, and there ought to be a provision for, for dealing with that, and I'm just about done. Thank you. And then finally, uh, I think we have to be absolutely sure there's growing evidence about seismic activity. Uh, Oklahoma has been done, doing research.